Hello, good day, and welcome. Today, we're going to be dealing with BHA 2018 Mathematics Past Question Question 14. The HCF of 12, 28, and 7 and 60 is dash. The HCF of 12, 28, and 60 is dash. A 16, B 12, C 4, and D 24. And like we know, HCF simply means what? HCF simply means highest. Highest common factor. And now I'm going to explain. Highest common factor simply means what? We know that factor of a number is the numbers that can go into that number without a remainder. Then common factors means that what? Factor of 12, which is also a factor of 28 and also a factor of 60. Then highest common factor simply means what? The common factors of these numbers, which is the highest. That is the number that can go into each of these numbers without a remainder and that can go into all of these numbers and is the highest which can go into these numbers without a remainder. Now, for us to find the HCF of following set of numbers, there are, what, there are things we need to consider. Number one thing we need to consider is that what, we have to express these numbers as product of their what, prime factors. Express as product of prime factors. And like we know, prime factors are simply what the factors of these numbers, which are prime numbers. And prime numbers are numbers that just have what two factors, that is one and themselves. Example is two, three, five. Then the second thing you need to consider is the what now you now pick the words, you now select the common factors. That is the common what prime factors. You now select the common prime factors you select the common prime what prime factors so these are the two things we consider and now if you're, if the common prime factor is one you choose one if it's more than one you multiply so first we express them as product of their prime factors now let's start with 12 12 now to express 12 as product of its prime factor it means that we shall express 12 as product of factors which are prime number and the lowest prime number is 2 so we start from the lowest prime number and we check if what 2m2 can go into 12. So 2 we go into 12. How many times? 6 times. So we write 2 times. Now we check again if 2 can go into what? Into 6. Because 12 divided by 2 will give us 6. We check if 2 can go into 6. And 2 can go into 6 what? 3 times. So we still write 2 again times. Now remember it's 2 m6 divided by 2 will give us 3. Now 2 cannot go into 3. So we move to the next word prime number which is 3 and 3 we go into 3 once so we write what 3 therefore 2 times 2 will give us 4 and 4 times 3 will give us 12 the next is 28 now we start with the lowest prime number which is 2 2 can go into 28 yes 14 times so we write it 2 times now we're left with 14 here 2 can still go into what 14 7 times we write it down the 2 times now we're left with 7 here 2 cannot go into 7 we move to the next prime number, which is 3. 3 cannot go into 7. We move to the next prime number, which is 5. 5 cannot go into 7. And we move to the next prime number, which is 7. 7 can go into 7 once. So we write down 7. So 4 times, and 2 times 2 will give us 4. 4 times 7 will give us 28. Now the next is what? 60. Now we start with the lowest prime number, which is 2. 2 will go into 60 30 times. So we write down the 2 times. Now we have 30. 2 can still go into 30, um, 30 15 times. So write down the 2 times. Now we left with 15 here. 2 cannot go into 15. Then we move to the next prime number, which is 3. 3 we go into 15 5 times. So we write down 3 times. Now we are left with 5. And 3 cannot go into 5. So we move to the next prime number, which is 5. And 5 we go into um, 5 one time. So we write down 5. Now we have successfully what? Express them as products of their prime factors. The next thing now is what? Select the common prime factors. Now which of these prime factors are common? The common prime factors here is what? C2 is common here. It is common here and also common here. So we select what? Prime factor. So we say HCF is equals to what? We have the first two. Now we check again. Is there any other common prime factor? This is common. It's here also and here also. So two times two. Now we check again. Is there any common one? We have three here, but we don't have three here. We have three here, so it's not common. We have 7 here, but 7 is not present in all. We have 5, but it's not present in all. So the common 
um, prime factors is what these two here and these two so therefore we have two times two and two times two will give us what four so therefore four is the highest common factor of 12 28 and 60. now from our options which of these correspond to our answer a says 16 which is wrong b says 12 wrong c says 4 which is correct and d says 24 which is wrong so c is our correct answer four thank you very much and god bless you please ensure you subscribe to our channel for more videos.